What's up everybody, my name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. And on today's video, we are doing Smoke Wagon Small Batch Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Okay, so straight bourbon whiskey from Smoke Wagon from Las Vegas, Nevada from H&C Distilling Company coming in at 50% ABV, which makes it 100 proof. Now, first of all, the bottle. Normally, I don't like if you can't see the whiskey in the bottle, but this bottle is pretty cool. I can't lie. It's got the indentation with the wax seal on there. It says Smoke Wagon. It's got all this uh, raised glass emblems on there. It says Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, H&C Distilling. So even though you can't see the whiskey in there, which I don't normally like, I do enjoy this bottle. So Smoke Wagon, our high rye content bourbon, is aged in the heart of a century old brick warehouse. Barrels are hand selected to create a perfect blend that is smooth, delicate, and at the same time bold and intense. This unique complexity is achieved by combining multiple vintages of the same mash bill. So it sounds like it's sourced because they are producing it. Produced, bottled, and aged by Nevada h &C Distilling Company, Las Vegas, Nevada, distilled in Indiana. Okay, so there you go. It's MGP. It's coming in at 100 proof MGP. Not sure if they did anything else to it, but they say it's a high rye content coming in at 100 proof. I think I got this bottle for like... 50, 60 bucks. I've actually had it for quite some time and just haven't gotten around to doing it. So I'm excited to try it tonight here on the channel with you guys and rank it on the tier system. Let's go ahead and do the bottle pop and get the nose right out of the bottle. We got some guns here on the little uh, topper seal too. Okay, decent little synthetic cork, uh, but a, you know, kind of a, a weak pop. I'm getting marshmallow, like a marshmallow s'mores, like graham cracker, a little bit of chocolate, marshmallow in there. That's immediately what I got. A little bit of strawberry, not so much a cherry, but a strawberry, like a strawberry jam. And yeah, really getting that s'mores in there. So that's interesting. That's kind of a different, a different nose than I would maybe normally get right out of, out of the gates, out of the glass. So let's go ahead and do the pour, see if anything is different here and actually see the whiskey for the first time. It doesn't have any age statement on it. It is light, so it's pretty light. It might be kind of young. They do say it's a high rye, so got to keep that in mind. Don't know what the exact mash bill is on it, but it is pretty light. Pretty, pretty yellow, pretty light, like almost like a watered down orange juice. All right, let's go in for the nose here. Let's coat the glass nice. A little bit harder to get it out of the glass. I'm getting a, I'm getting a little glassed, I think, on this one, to be honest with you. When I go in for the smell, I the first thing I smelled was glass, so. Okay, there it is. There's the, the s'mores, the strawberry. Definitely, I, I think you can tell that there's rye in it. It, it, smells, it smells like it could be spicy, but without smelling spicy, if that makes any sense. Can't quite tell what the spice is on there that I'm getting, but you know, it smells pretty good, especially out of the bottle. So hopefully it'll taste halfway decent. Coming in 100 proof, right? Yes, 100 proof from probably my favorite place that I've ever been in my life, Las Vegas, Nevada. Wish I could go there multiple times a year. Actually may retire there one year if I end up single and alone. So ladies, here we go. Okay, definitely marshmallowy. Definitely get marshmallowy, vanilla. It's it's light. It's definitely light. Definitely a little hint of rye spice in there for sure. It's interesting because you really get overwhelmed, at least for me, with the vanilla and the marshmallow, but there's still there's something in the background that I haven't quite picked up on what it is yet. Definitely some of the graham cracker. I think that's kind of where that that rye spice kind of ish maybe coming in is in that kind of graham cracker nose 
and taste because if you think about a graham cracker, it's kind of not necessarily you would think of spicy as in like pepper or something like that, but spicy as in that's where you kind of get the kick out of the s'more. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that's what it feels like to me right now. Feels like I'm still missing something here in the background. Finish is smooth, not bitter at all, which is good. I've had a couple recently that were kind of bitter at the end and that just kills any taste that it has up front. So it does linger with that mostly marshmallow, a little bit of maybe a hint, hint, hint of toasted, mostly like a soft gooey marshmallow. Yeah, I can't quite pick out what that last thing is. There's something else and I just can't quite pick it out right now. So I may have to come back to this another time. And you know, once we're out of the neck pour here and get down to it, because this is the first pour I've ever had of Smoke Wagon before. I've never had it, never tried it before. This taping of this video right now. So we're gonna give one more sip here and then we're gonna rank it on the tier system. It's pretty good. I actually think it's better than I thought it was gonna be. Considering I knew it was sourced, MGP, Indiana, but it's from Vegas in a really cool bottle, but you can't see the whiskey came out it was really really light the nose was pretty decent though i liked the nose and the taste was about the same as the nose so i think overall if i'm going to rank this on the tier system which i am i think i'm going to place it in the b tier i think it's a little bit better than that c tier just because it has a nice finish of that marshmallow and it just kind of slowly slowly fades away with that marshmallow gooey vanilla -iness. so i really like the finish on it it doesn't have any bitterness at all, which I enjoy. And it's got a little bit of something there in the background that I'm still trying to figure out. And when something makes me think about what I'm tasting, I really enjoy that because that means it's not just the simple A, B, C, D, uh, you know, children's book that you're dealing with there. So yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's gonna go in the B tier. I would definitely like to try some more stuff from Smoke Wagon from H&C uh, Distilling Company out in Las Vegas. So if you guys have had them or any of their other bottles, make sure you let me know about them down in the comments below. Maybe there's one that I should go out there and try to find in my next bourbon hunting video, which we're gonna, we're gonna be doing some of those soon. I know you guys really enjoyed those. That video has been killing it. So thank you guys for watching so much and I'll see you in the next one.